Hi everyone, I am Suyash. Thank you for this opportunity to discuss Aruba Central for CX switching and our vision for unifying network management under a single pane of glass. Over the next few minutes, what I'd like to do is give you a brief insight into the evolution of network management to modern day solutions. Convey why fragmented network operations are insufficient in supporting business objectives in today's era. Give you a brief overview of how Aruba Central addresses these shortcomings by eliminating network silos and automating operations using AI and machine learning. Finally, we pivot to a more specific look into how Central simplifies the management of wired networks that are powered by Aruba's best in breed CX switches. Now, we observe the evolution of network management systems from the 1980s to the present day. Network management systems have broadly evolved across four eras. In the pre-standardization era till the early 90s, the idea of a PC per employee was still science fiction. Business networks consisted of a few computer stations and were uncommon outside large enterprises. There was no network convergence and very few providers of NMS existed in the market. The standardization era was kickstarted by the introduction of FCAPs as a framework for NMS in the early 90s. The free availability of standards documentation made it possible for newcomers to enter the market. SNMP emerged as an internet standard protocol and led to the rise of network troubleshooting tool. Standardization eventually led to interoperability between network vendors. The network monitoring tools of this era could keep track of the performance of the network hardware, but were by and large designed for local area, area network. By the beginning of the 21st century, it was clear that the monitoring needs of internet-based services were not the same as those of a typical office LAN. This led many third-party network monitoring tools to extend support to standard internet protocols and often to build out web-based interfaces. These interfaces provided dashboards of important metrics as well as visual maps of the network displaying connections and bandwidth. Some of you may remember that newcomers such as SolarWinds entered the market in this era. In the last decade, we have seen a proliferation of devices with 10 to 15 devices per employee. This trend has largely been driven by BYOD and IoT devices on the enterprise network. This device proliferation has led to multiple configuration monitoring and management challenges, as we'll see in the next slide. Today's networks need to be agile, intelligent, and secure, and a cloud-based network management solution is the answer. Numbers speak for themselves, but you can relate to this in a tangible manner. 64% of IT organizations use four or more network management tools. How many times has it been where a customer is running multiple management tools just for wired and wireless infrastructure? 70% of the time is spent in trying to identify and diagnose issues due to limited visibility. And then how many times have your customers been in a situation where they've had to reach out to, let's say, the switching team, get you into a war room just to get the configuration because of lack of visibility? 35% of the network out outages are caused by a human error because they are still using manual processes instead of automation, ultimately leading to 70% of costs related to downtime. In order to maximize the advantages of cloud, IoT, and other technologies that are catalyzing digital transformation efforts, companies today need a network that is more nimble and secure with the right levels of performance and connectivity. Hence, we are seeing a rise in spending on cloud-based networking platforms. According to Fortune Business Insights, overall spending on cloud networking will reach approximately $15 billion by 2027, growing at a CAGR of 21.1%. More than half of organizations are doubling down on cloud networking platforms. Having accelerated their investments due to the pandemic and the resulting need to manage network infrastructure and services at scale from a centralized location. There's also an increased reliance on artificial intelligence and machine learning, which leverage the massive computing power of the cloud to automate and improve decision-making for IT and business leaders alike. Cloud-based network management helps improve IT agility and efficiency, being able to increase the rate at which teams can deliver new services or sites for the business. But those benefits are bolstered by better TCO, 
reduced infrastructure costs since IT teams are no longer managing servers for the network management system, no longer eating up data center space from a maintenance and heating and cooling perspective. There are also significant operational savings, reduced truck rolls and travel costs since most maintenance activities can be done centrally from the cloud rather than requiring on-site IT for each and every operation. Travel costs aside, there are also labor cost savings given that IT can complete common tasks much more efficiently, which boosts the team's productivity as well. There's also the cost savings of avoiding rework or downtime. By centralizing and standardizing on certain processes, configurations, policies, et cetera, IT teams are also reducing the likelihood of rework, further driving down operational costs. And there are fewer errors due to simpler, more automated processes. These impacts cascade across the business because when the network doesn't work, nor do employees and nor can customers or guests transact. So in other words, improving network uptime and availability equates to significant cost savings. Aruba Central is Aruba's cloud-based management solution and thousands of organizations worldwide are leveraging it to address the issues highlighted earlier, while also delivering some significant benefits and outcomes for IT leaders and their business counterparts. Here's a quick run through of Aruba Central. It breaks down network silos by unifying management and operations across all infrastructure, across all network domains from wireless APs and switches on the LAN and into data center and cloud environments, customers get a single pane of glass to maintain the entire network. Security is always top of mind, especially given that the traditional IT perimeter continues to dissolve due to workplace mobility and work from home initiative. Along with the proliferation of VYOD and IoT devices on the network, to that end, Aruba Central was designed with security built in and not bolted on, with capabilities like unified threat management, IDS, IPS, device fingerprinting, and automated policy enforcement for devices across both wired and wireless networks. Aruba Central simplifies operations across the network lifecycle. It gives customers the automation and orchestration capabilities that make it easy for IT to deploy, monitor, and secure the network all from a centralized management console. Aruba Central delivers AI and machine learning based analytics. And with these insights, customers can preempt issues before they impact end users or the business, while also proactively identifying areas for improvement. This includes a rich set of troubleshooting tools and guided remediation for quick and accurate fixes. On top of the AI engine, Aruba Central also provides an array of other powerful monitoring capabilities, giving customers broad visibility into key performance indicators and complete operational awareness. Full extensibility is provided via extensive use of APIs and webhooks that make it easy to integrate Aruba Central with other third-party IT systems and applications that customers have also deployed to build and maintain their networks. This provides a strong foundation to further streamline workflows that are completed across multiple systems. For CX switch management, Aruba Central gives a robust, intuitive set of management features delivered with the scale and performance of cloud computing. From a monitoring standpoint, this includes a number of details into network health, including port utilization, device statistics, VLAN details, the health of client devices that are connected to the CX switches, as well as information from neighboring infrastructure. Central also supports basic troubleshooting support today, such as action or show commands. Aruba Central also gives a network topology overview with visibility into all managed devices, including CX switches. From a single dashboard, one gets comprehensive visibility at the global or site level with quick snapshots into network performance. In this manner, operators are proactively notified of potential problem areas with intelligent alerts that pinpoint impacted devices or sites along with the likely root cause. Additional intelligence is also provided through reports for auditing or planning purposes. These reports cover things like network device connectivity, network and application health, throughput and usage and user account activity. A reporting wizard is also provided to generate scheduled and on-demand reports. Now, 
Let's take a closer look at why Aruba Central is the optimal platform for managing the Aruba switching infrastructure. Central provi provides three key value-added pillars over existing network management systems. The first pillar is enhanced automation and management. To keep pace with non-stop moves, ads, and changes, Aruba Central dramatically simplifies change windows. This is enabled via embedded functionality from Aruba NetEdit, which is a turnkey configuration and orchestration tool for rolling out network updates to Aruba CX switches at scale. This includes a simple yet powerful GUI for making routine everyday changes and no advanced networking skills are required. So changes to things like interfaces, ports, VLANs, and static routes can be supported with the GUI config helping operators stay focused on more strategic initiatives. There's also a multi-editor functionality for making more complex config updates at scale. Make any necessary config changes just once and then instantly, instantly push those changes to all targeted devices. Further assurance is provided with built-in validation for device dependencies, common criteria, and established policies, ensuring that changes are successful match business intent are now free of errors. Better yet, customers can easily toggle back and forth between the GUI config option and the multi-edit mode, depending on the process they're completing. The second pillar is AI ops. One can pull telemetry into central from the on-box network analytics engine agents that run natively on the CX switches. This includes seeing the aggregated status of all agents that run on each CX device, as well as mapping that aggregated status to standard alert severities to help pinpoint and prioritize issues on the network or device level. Secondly, there are a set of AI insights available for CX switches. These include details on port errors, PoE failures, and also insights into system health. So things like CP CPU and memory usage. Drawing on the scale and power of the cloud, these insights help accelerate root cause analysis with extremely high accuracy. So network operators can more proactively identify and resolve common wired network problems. The third and final pillar is simplified dynamic segmentation. Standard ways to segment and secure the network don't scale in the mobile and IoT era. VLANs, ACLs, and subnets at every hop of the network are cumbersome and burdensome for operators to implement and manage. Aruba offers a dramatically simplified way of isolating and securing various users, devices, and application traffic. No matter how users and devices connect, Aruba dynamic segmentation automatically enforces consistent policies across both wired and wireless networks keeping traffic secure and separate. It's now easy for business-facing operations and corporate-managed networks with IoT and IT-managed client devices to coexist, regardless of their role or location, be they at campuses, branches, or corporate HQ. Policies are centrally set and enforced and follow users wherever they go, enabling a simpler architecture that requires minimal touch points and results in better segmentation. With Aruba Central, the services that enable dynamic segmentation have been brought into a single management console, making it far easier to implement and maintain. With Aruba CX switching, one can also gain the flexibility to establish switch-to-switch -switch tunnels using VXLAN and BGP eVPN for higher performance and scalability, as well as tunneling to a central gateway for L4 to L7 services and greater security and visibility. To summarize, traditional Aruba network management systems worked excellently for the requirements of yesteryears. However, in order to maximize the advantages of cloud, IoT, and other technologies that are catalyzing digital transformation efforts, companies need modern network management solutions. Aruba Central is the optimal platform for managing Aruba switching infrastructure due to three key value-added pillars over existing systems. First, Enhanced automation and management features improve IT agility and efficiency throughout the life cycle of wired networks. Capabilities such as zero-touch provisioning can be orchestrated through Aruba Central, 
simplifying operations across the network management lifecycle. Second, AI ops uniquely blends network and user-centric analytics with artificial intelligence and machine learning. So customers can continuously optimize wired performance, deliver the best user experience and proactively find and fix issues before they impact business. Third, dynamic segmentation provides a simple yet powerful way to orchestrate and enforce policies across networks. Customers can manage unified policies for wired and wireless infrastructure from a single management console. For Aruba CX switches, support for VXLAN-based tunnels gives customers greater flexibility to address performance and security requirements. Thank you.